oddly enough, Jimmy Page played a psychedelic telecaster in all of the Yardbirds. Yeah. And I, uh, the James Gang opened for Led Zeppelin when they first came to America. And we opened for them and they played four or five places. One of them was Cleveland. And so I met, I met Jimmy. Yeah. And the, their first album had just come out and people were just starting to discover Led Zeppelin. So the word of mouth was huge. But a lot of people came to hear Yardbird songs mm. because that's all they knew. Yeah. So Jimmy and I became friends because uh, pretty much that's a three-piece band with a lead singer. And Jimmy said to me, look, uh, the Yardbirds is great. And, and I've played on so many records. He played on so many sessions. If you look up what he played on, you'll be amazed. But he said, this telecaster ain't cutting it for Led Zeppelin. And I don't know what to do. Now, Les Pauls were virtually, uh, didn't exist in England at the time. And they weren't, they didn't hit popularity yet. And they were pretty easy to find because they hadn't been discovered and they didn't cost very much. After the fact, when, when that became the guitar for rock and roll, well, you know, the rest is history. But he said, I, I got to get, I got to get a double coil situation. And, and I've looked for a less Paul. There aren't any in England. And, uh, do you know any any way you could you help me get one? Because Led Zeppelin ain't making it with a telecast. Sure. And I happen to have two. <laughs> I found one in the basement of a family-owned music store in I think Athens, Ohio, where Ohio University is. It was just in the basement. Yeah. I walked in and I looked around, and said, you know, and it was all Voxes and, and you know, Rickenbackers and Beatles stuff. Yeah. And I said, what do you got downstairs? And there was a, there was a Les Paul. And I found another one through a friend. I traded him, him some stuff for one. So uh, one I really liked and one I, I just... So we're saving for a rainy day. So I gave Jimmy that one. Ha! You gave and Jimmy I, his first Le Les Paul? Yeah. Wow. And that, that Les ha! Paul, ha! he calls number one. That's his number and, one? It's that and one? That, that's the, the body of Led Zeppelin music is that Les Paul <laughs> that I gave him. I couldn't imagine that Led Zeppelin catalog on a telly. No. <laughs> Neither could I, neither could he. Yeah. And he said, I'm in big trouble here. So uh, <laughs> I said, look, just try this out. I think I think this will solve the problem. Yeah. And uh, if you like it, uh, we'll talk. And several times I thought about asking for it back, but that ain't going to work. But he gives people something. Yeah. You gave it to him. Yeah. He gave me, I don't know, he gave me eventually 1500 bucks or something. And, and, and that's uh, less than I paid for it. Wow. Wow, I even mean, at that time. A, a little bit less yeah. than I paid for it. So I broke even on that. But now, there you go. 